Hey, it's Chad and Sarah with DriveTheLightning.com. Hey. Quick video about the Aptera. We're going to answer three of the most frequently asked questions about the Aptera, but but Sarah doesn't know these answers. I, that's right. I do not frequent the Aptera website like some people in this house do. So I don't know the answers. Yeah, so before we give you the answers, we're going to quiz her, okay? So let's just start with the first one. The first question is, do I need a motorcycle license to operate the Aptera? I'm going to venture to say that you do not. It is an enclosed three-wheel vehicle, and therefore it would not require a motorcycle endorsement on your driver's license to be able to drive it. In most states, I'm going to say, because I don't know all the state's rules. Okay, so that's Sarah's answer. Let's see what the real answer is right here from the Aptera website. Here it is. Aptera is technically not classified as a car. It's a motorcycle or autocycle. And as Sarah said, the vast majority of states only require that you have a regular driver's license to drive a three-wheeled vehicle like the Aptera. States that we're aware currently require a motorcycle license are Alaska, Wyoming, New York, Massachusetts, and Maine. Okay, so I'm going to give Sarah two thumbs up. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, so Woo. why not take a minute and give Chan Sarah a thumbs up on the video? Please. All right, hey, look, no pressure. Next question. Does Aptera qualify for a federal tax credit? Now, this question comes up because in the United States, you get like a $7,500 credit when you buy a new EV. So what do you think? Aptera qualify? I don't know, but I am going to venture to say no, not at this time. My feeling would be that because it would be considered more of a recreational vehicle as opposed to a regular car, that because it's a three-wheel vehicle, it doesn't qualify for the federal tax credit. That's my guess. That's our guess. Let's see what it says on the aptera.us website right here. So does it qualify for, a f okay, here it goes. There were considerable federal tax credits in place at the federal level for three-wheeled EVs, but they ended in 2017. We are working hard to get them reinstated and to expand some programs to vehicles that get 100 plus to 200 plus MPGE, which would more than qualify. But for now, you should check your state EV incentives and see if they stretch to three-wheel and watch out for new federal programs to come to reality so sarah the answer is no i win another i'm winning another victory for sarah now here's a, here's a tricky one frequently asked question how many times a year will i charge my aptera a year we charge our leaf every day <laughs> So 356 times a year, a year is our Nissan leaf but i also know that the aptera has some optional arrays for solar panels so i imagine which aptera you get or what options you get on your aptera would make a difference in answering that question so that's kind of a tough i feel like that's a kind of a tricky one yeah it is a tricky one so what's your actual answer four four times a year <laughs> okay so every three months you're going to charge your aptera i don't know to get the answer we have to go to the aptera website and when we get to the Aptera website, we're just going to scroll down a little bit here. And we're going to get to this section that talks about some of the features of the car. And one of those features of the car is the ability to be never charged car. 1,000 miles of range, 40 miles of solar per, per day. And when you go to that section of the website, you can choose the area that you live in. And, and what we'll do for, I guess, our example, Sarah, we'll choose Michigan because, hey, we live in Michigan. That we do. Yeah, and it'll tell you what zone you're in for solar, like, you know, solar power. So we're in bright yellow. Bright yellow, as you can see in the zone chart on the bottom, that's zone number four. So down here, find out if you'll ever charge yours. We're going to put in four. Miles we drive a day. We drive, you know, 50 miles a day for sure. 9.49, nine and a half times a year. That we're we'll going to have to car. charge. Now, let's be serious, Sarah. I mean, that is the Aptera with the 1,000-mile range battery and with the full solar array. There it is. But we're going to log into our our page, you know, our pre-order of the Aptera, mm -hmm. and we'll bump it up to those features. We'll get yeah, the... Yeah, because we didn't order the full solar no. array, right? Mm -mm. And uh, what you didn't order. Yeah, we got like the 400-mile the 400, the, the battery and some solar array, but we didn't do the whole thing. But we'll go in here and we'll just bump ours up for now so you can see what it would cost you to get a car that would actually get you, you know, 10 charges a year 
on your Aptera. So it's, it's obviously not the car that, that we have. Right. Okay, so what, here's our car right here. That is cool, though. You see, now we have the 400-mile range, but we're going to bump that dude up, and we're going to go with the 1,000-mile range. And I think I might have already put the full solar in here for fun, but let's just look down and make sure that's what I did. Yeah, all panels. So $46,400 is what it would cost you to get you know, that, what we saw in the chart. So it's something to consider. But now you think, well, that's a lot of money. That's way too much money. Well, if you cut that in half, now you're closer to 30000 but you've only got the 400-mile battery. So what? i got to charge 20 times a year. <laughs> that's, you know, that's really not that bad. It's still less than twice a month. Right. Right now I charge every, <laughs> every single day. day. So don't be discouraged. You don't have to have the 1,000-mile battery in a full solar array to make it well worth your time to drive a solar-charged electric vehicle. So that's it. There you go. That's our three frequently asked questions. I feel like I did pretty good. I should win good. a prize. Sarah gets what? Your voice Thumbs on up. my voicemail? My voice on your voice <laughs> machine. Okay, Chad and Sarah drive the lightning comp. Do you want to learn more about the Aptera? If so, there's a video right here between us a little bit. Sarah, move out of the way a little bit. Right there, I'll teach you a little bit more about the Aptera. If you're interested in other cars, like maybe the BMW i3, how about this video right over my shoulder? That's that it? Good. That, good? That's all I got. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for taking a minute. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs>